Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick's Fingerboards. I have a how to not get scammed on YouTube when dealing with fingerboarders video here for you guys, and I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. So, uh, before we begin, there are a few things you should probably know. This is not by any means a law on how to not get scammed. Sometimes you there's just a really good guy who talks you into it, and then it's just a mistake. But uh, anytime you're trading with uh, fingerboarders or selling with fingerboarders on YouTube, you're always carrying a risk because there's no one moderating the sale or trade. But um. You know, with these tips and tricks, you can sometimes remain successful and sometimes even foil a scammer's plot if, uh, you know, you can get the money back or get your product back. So, uh, before we begin, there are three main types of scammers. Uh, one type is the new account. These are the people who made their account within a month ago, probably don't have a lot of customization on their account. They just want to make money, make money, make money. That's it. So, uh, they'll have a sale video on their channel. They may even specify no trades. Uh, they'll usually have a lot of good products on there. One main product that I've seen that's really popular is the Yellowwood P6 Engraved just because there's a lot of different pictures on the site uh, about the Yellowwood P6. Also, big minis are popular. A lot of product that'll make money for them quick. For instance, they're not going to have any tech deck items, just because tech deck items are only going to make them 20 bucks, and that's not worth the risk of scamming, uh, because no matter how good they are, there always is some risk. And the other thing you can look for is, is it a video or is it a slideshow? Most likely, if it's a scam, it'll be a slideshow, because the person who actually has the product just took a picture of it and the scammer took it. Uh, it's a lot harder to find videos of a big mini than it is to find good pictures of a big mini, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, the second type of scammer is the complete, I don't care scammer, I'm just going to scam you for whatever you have. This kind of scammer is just a known scammer. If you type in his uh, YouTube name on YouTube, you will get scam beware videos. There's tons of videos out there for him. Um, Moskaxum or something like that. There used to be one that I remembered, um, but there's a lot of them out there. So just beware. You can usually find some proof on there. So the only thing that you really need to worry about is just doing a little bit of research on that one. And the third, and in my opinion, the hardest to identify is the quitters. People who quit fingerboarding and just want to have a few bucks, a few extra bucks for whatever they're onto now, be it boyfriends, girlfriends, uh, you know, making different kind of YouTube videos, just make a few bucks, get rid of their fingerboard stuff. Uh, so what they do is, usually they make a video saying, oh guys, I'm back, because they may have been gone for a while, but uh, they might be like, oh guys, you know, I really want to sell this stuff, so here's a bunch of stuff I'm selling, I want to buy all new stuff, etc, etc. Um, so there's a couple ways you can really try and uh, g uh, get some information about these people. If they have good references, that's always a good sign, but again, it doesn't mean that they're necessarily not a scammer. Uh, usually, when someone's trying to scam you like that, if they're a quitter, they'll insist on cash, even if you offer, say, a P6 board for uh, a G12 uh, and the P6 is engraved, they won't take that because they just want the money. They don't care about fingerboarding anymore. Uh, the second thing is if you've sent first before and they've sent first to you before, uh, you've done vice versa, but this time they insist on sending first on you sending first, that should raise a red flag because if they've sent first before, they should have no problem sending first if it's really that big a deal for you. Um, so if sometimes they're just sincerely hoping not to get scammed and they just want you to send first, again, this is not definite. I'm just telling you guys my opinion on things. Um, and after you've done all three of those things, you're still unsure, there are a couple things you can do to increase your chances on um, being safe on the internet as far as fingerboarding trading goes. Uh, you can get a tracking number and have them get delivery confirmation. That's one thing that you really want to do just because it's a lot easier to, uh, you know, go to settle a claim on PayPal or file a police report if you have a tracking number that says they actually got the package. Uh, second of all, use PayPal. PayPal is a lifesaver, guys. Cash and mail equals a big no. Do not do cash and mail. Uh, that's the easiest way for them to scam you. If you send them cash in the mail, even if you have a tracking number, there is no way for you to get your money back, even if you file a police report. PayPal is the safest way. It's a legitimate company. They will fight for you. The police will fight for you. You will get your money back if you get scammed on PayPal. I can guarantee it, as long as you have a tracking number and delivery confirmation. If you sell, If you send it, and if you're just buying stuff, it's very easy to get your money back if you scams if someone scammed you. Uh, the third thing, get as much information about them as possible. Uh, ask for their phone number, their real name, their age, uh, their address. Just try and get as much information because it makes the police report a whole lot easier down the road. Um, don't ever do a trade with somebody if you only know their YouTube name and what they say their first name is. That's a big no. Uh, and as far as you selling stuff and getting scammed, 
Guys, I don't have any advice on that other than just uh, check out who you bu who's buying it. And to be honest, they should be sending first. There's no reason for uh, someone if they came to you, they send first. That's how you don't go to Target.com and type in, um, you know, I don't know, flat screen TV and go, oh, you can send the flat screen first and I'll pay you later. That's they don't do that. That's not how businesses work. But the same thing, you should be sending first for someone if you buy it. I don't. If you they you think they're a scammer, the best advice I have, guys, don't buy with them. So uh, that's all the advice I have for you guys. If you have anything else, add it in a video response down there. Uh, just click comment and then click attach a video and you'll be able to do that. So that's all for now, guys. Let's go pulling some scammers.